Hello there and welcome to another exciting edition of the Ask Dr. Jack show. I am Dr. Jack Bielas, chiropractor in Omaha, Nebraska, and we are so excited to bring you some great information today. Remember, it's not exactly information that is trying to give you medical advice, just trying to give you great ideas that you could easily pull off the internet and uh, look at yourself, but we're just making it easy for you to find. All right, Aaliyah from behind the front desk, and she is helping us out today, so go for it. All right, so today's question is, um, what kinds of things can I give my child um, this school year to help them be successful? And what a great thing, because school is right around the corner. We got to get ready for it. Um, so here's, we came up with a top eight list. Top eight. The top eight list, and so go for it. What's the first one? Um, eight, sorry. Number eight. <laughs> yes. Um, is backpacks. And this is especially important for the older kids that are carrying around, you know, bigger textbooks and stuff. But you want a, a backpack that um, has good shoulder support and that sits close to their back um, to help support the heavy load that they're carrying. And also teach them to load their books so that the heaviest ones are closer to the body uh, because the farther out you go, the more of an impact it's going to have on their back. All right, uh, so number seven is a, a substance called Arnica. Um, this is a homeopathic. It's a thir the 30C dose is the, we, the one that we uh, suggest, but it is awesome for when a kid gets injured to have this around the house. Um, so it helps with bruising and just overall pain. And it's just, it's just an amazing little homeopathic to have just for in general use, you can take it as needed. Um, it's not addictive. It's not going to be doing anything nasty to your kid uh, long term. It's just a really nice thing to have around the house. This is zinc. Zinc is really important for brain function and memory. Um, it's also really um, good for your immune system to help you fight all those nasty colds that get spread around during school. And there's a ton of those. <laughs> All right, uh, we are at number five. It's water bottle. Now you may think, well, why do I need to send my kid to school with a water bottle? Well, first of all, um, each kid and uh, adult should be drinking a lot more water than the average person is getting. Um, if you wanna know how much the proper amount for you to drink is, take your body weight, divide it by two, that's the number of ounces you should be drinking a day. And for a lot of people, that's a big surprise and they're wondering why. <laughs> what happened to that eight cups a day? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's really important to make sure. And so a water bottle can not only help you keep track of how much water you're drinking, but it will also provide a vehicle to get water to school that is not chlorinated, um, that you know, basically doesn't have any of the other crap in it that the tap water has. Um, so I'm not saying that you don't want your kid not to drink tap water if that's what's available to them at school, but the more of the good water that you can provide them during the day that they have, the much better your kid is going to be overall. Oh, that's a good thing. Okay, so a water bottle also, um, <laughs> a water bottle also keeps you from needing to drink milk because milk is so nasty. There's so many bad things about milk. If you wanna know more about milk, please come into the office. I will give you a plenty of things, but just stay away from the milk if possible. All right, so number four is vitamin C. Again, we're talking about the immune system and fighting those colds. Um, it doesn't just it's not just immune system support. I mean, your body needs vitamin C to function. So, you know, can't really overdose on it. That's right, that's right. And Linus Pauling, uh, the guy that did most of the research in vitamin C said an average adult should take 27 grams of vitamin C a day. That's 27,000 milligrams. That uh, is way more than anybody is asking you to take right now. But what it does is it tells you that you can take a lot of vitamin C to boost that immune system and not worry about overdosing on it like a lot of people think that you could possibly do. So it, vitamin C is great. 
Uh, now, we're up to number three, sleep. Sleep is a huge thing and the best way to make sure that you get sleep is to prepare. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a proper bedtime set, an appropriate one for the kids. Now, and the younger kids are going to have to deal with the fact that the older kids get to stay up later. And uh, that's just going to be a thing. Also, some kids need more sleep than others. So you have to watch factor that in too. If your kid is getting seven to eight hours of sleep, but still really grumpy and not functioning well in the morning, according to the teachers, then they might need a little bit more sleep than the average person. Realize that seven to eight hours is just average. You know, some kids need, don't need quite as much. Others need a little bit more. Another thing you have to take into consideration is you're going to have a lot of activities, uh, you know, and more so as they grow older. So it depends on what age your kids are. They're going to have to factor into the sleep thing also. Sleep is huge importance, but also there's no right answer for your kid. You know, pay attention to what your kid is doing and uh, what they need as opposed to the amount of sleep they're getting. All right. All right. Uh, number two is a lunchbox. Um, I really strongly recommend packing your kids their own lunch. Um, that way you know what they're eating and you can make things a little bit healthier, um, avoid a lot of that pasta and bread and stuff. Um, it's so yeah. prevalent at school. I mean, you've got the gluten, you've got grains, all those things. Well, Let it's inexpensive to, to buy and to feed to the masses. You want to feed the masses, you make pasta. Well, yeah, but just... it, you know, think about how many kids go to sleep after, you know, uh, lunch, yeah, you, you know, crash. they just, yeah, they, they crash because of all the carbs and everything like that. You can, you know, get the, get your kids used to a healthier, uh, way of living life. Uh, more veggies. Veggies are great for snacks, you know, or, or I for just lunches. do meat and cheese. Meat and cheese My is great too. Yeah. But you know, those little baby carrots, how easy are those? You throw a few in a sandwich bag and go. Same with cauliflower, broccoli, easy to cut up. String beans, great little snack. Um, you know, so there's lots of great ways to make your lunch healthy. So having a lunch box to put them in is a great thing to get your kid ready. And number finally, one. the number one most important thing for your child for success, at least as far as we are concerned, is get your kid adjusted. Adjustments allow that nervous system to be open, free, and clear. So not only is their immune system going to be working amazingly well and they can any of, of those nasty little colds and flus that their uh, friends are having, they can fight them and not bring them home to the rest of the uh, household, but also their brain's going to be working more efficiently. And, you know, they'll just overall be a much healthier and happier child if you just get adjusted every once in a while. So, you know, once a month is a great thing to shoot for. It's a great way to make sure that you don't find any problems that might be creeping in. It's just awesome. So that's it. Uh, hope this has been helpful to you. We had fun creating this list. It's an amazing thing to do when your child's getting ready. I mean, I know you're probably waiting for your kid to get back to school after this, <laughs> after this summer. I know beginning of summer is so much fun looking forward to summer, but by the middle, it's like, okay. Just... By the end of softball season, <laughs> I'm basically done. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so now it's time to get them ready to be sent off, do things right, and they can have an amazingly productive and learningful experience this uh, semester. So have an awesome, happy and healthy day. And we just can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Ask Dr. Jack Show.